a, as a major awareness uh, event. And just to, to sort of analyst, uh, how high on the radar is the Web Summit and uh, how uh, relevant is that in terms of attracting interest into what's going on there? Maybe Gina or Suresh should announce the Web Summit, so probably the both of you to answer. Yeah, so, so I think both of our businesses launched officially uh, in Ireland at the Web Summit. Um, I don't remember the exact numbers, but it was a, a massive, massive increase in uh, the number of attendees this year versus the year before. So I think there is tremendous momentum around that event, and it's, it's really one of the hallmark events across all of Europe for, uh, for the tech scene. Yeah, I think there were 11,000 uh, attendees last year, I think. Um, Patty and his team are expecting 25,000 this year, which is crazy, and I think over 90% of those are from outside Ireland. So I think it's a fantastic event to, to really showcase Ireland on, on the world stage, um, and that, that team have done a fantastic job of attracting um, you know, all types of talent and, and, and folks to, to speak at that. Um, we're actually attending their first US event, which is in, in Vegas in, in May, called, called Collision. So. Um, we actually, I think we hijacked your free happy hour. Um, Admiral sponsored a, an open bar at the Web Summit, so we just jumped on that bandwagon. But um, we intend to to actually do, do some more sponsorship um, this year. So very good. Any more questions? Okay. Well, look. Just on that note, uh, our colleague and senior vice president of Gateway to Europe. Uh, very US title. Uh, Dariel is here to introduce anybody who would like to meet any of the service providers here today. Um, and uh, I, uh, I wish you all success in terms of your, your, your next move. And uh, look, I think you'd be greeted with open arms if you decide to come to check out Ireland. Uh, we have colleagues here from the IDA and from Connect Ireland, uh, government agencies uh, who can give us some detailed uh, content in terms of what government supports are available. Um, it just leaves me now really to, to thank a uh, number of people, so just the sponsors of Gateway to Europe, so Aer Lingus, whose inaugural flight flew over to San Francisco and opened up Links, Jeff there from Aer Lingus, um, and who uh, kindly supported the initiative. Uh, News Talk, uh, we're due to broadcast here this morning, and um, we'll have to do it from the local radio station, uh, who can uh, set our supporters, the Irish Times, been a great media partner uh, back home, um, and the IDA, um, and, uh, and to all of our fellow uh, attendees who have travelled over and um, continued success and uh, thank you all for your time this morning.